Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tag video and this is the makeup and glasses tag video and it was originated by Abby Williamson and Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. They did it as a collab and uh, I will put links to those videos down in the description box. So I think the title is pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to answer a series of questions that have to do with wearing glasses. I just got these glasses last week, so seeing as how I spent $423 on them, yikes, um, I'm happy that I'm going to be able to do a video about them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's way, way too much. Anyway, uh, let's get started then. Let's see what they are asking. Question number one, nearsighted or farsighted? Expand on it if you want. I am both. I wasn't always. Um, back in the day, I was only nearsighted. I could only see close up. Couldn't see distance. But now uh, these are progressives. So they have everything in them. Uh, distance, mid-range, close up, everything. That's what happens usually. It's it's natural for that to happen as you get older. Most people start off one or the other and eventually you need them for everything. How often do you wear glasses? I wear my glasses... Oh, that was my... <laughs> that was my curler. I didn't shut it. Remember to shut it off. Okay, it's off now. It would have shut itself off anyway. Um... How often do you wear glasses? I wear glasses all the time. Basically, if I don't have them on, it's because I'm taking a shower, I'm sleeping, or I'm filming YouTube. Other than that, I have to wear them. I'm blind as a bat. Okay, number three, how long have you been wearing glasses? When I was in the fourth grade, the teacher said, would you please answer this question that I have written on the blackboard? And I squinted and I said, can you write it a little bit darker? I can't really see it. She sent a note home <laughs> to my mother and said, uh, I think she needs to have her eyes examined because she can't read the questions on the blackboard. So I was diagnosed in fourth grade, but I probably was never able to see from the beginning. Okay, how long have you been wearing glasses? I just answered that question since fourth grade. Number four, have you ever been teased for wearing glasses? Um, I was bullied really bad as a kid, and I think part of it was because I wore glasses, because honestly, I don't remember anyone else in my class wearing glasses other than me. I mean, nowadays, it is quite common for people to wear glasses, but back in those days, it was only older people who wore glasses. There weren't that many kids that had glasses. I mean, now it seems like everybody wears them. But yeah, um, so I think that it was partly because of the glasses. It was also because I had really bad buck teeth from sucking my thumb. So, and my mother used to buy me funny looking clothes. And I was also the new kid. I had to change schools several times because we moved and because of other reasons. So I was the new kid. I had buck teeth. I had glasses. And I had funny looking clothes. So, you know, that, so there's a lot of reasons why I was bullied. Um, but were the glasses the reason? I think they were part of the reason. Okay, number five. Have you ever debated getting LASIK? Expand on your relationship with glasses. Um, I thought about it for like half a second, but the more I thought about it, the more I just dismissed the idea because the idea of anybody putting a laser anywhere near my eyes freaks me out. And all I keep thinking is that I wouldn't want to be like the 1% or whatever that percentage is where something goes wrong. It's it's just not worth it. If I can just put on a pair of glasses and see fine, then I don't need to have LASIK. 
Number six, how many pairs of glasses do you have and wear regularly? <clears throat> Before I got these, it had been four years since I had had my eyes examined. So these are the only glasses that I have in my current prescription. Um, for obvious reasons, like I said, they were $423 and I thought I was getting them at the most reasonably priced place that there is. Um, I bought them at Walmart Vision Center, and they do have very good prices on frames, but it's the lenses that get you, because my prescription is um, very strong, and it has a lot of what they call add-ons, uh, extras, so, but I still could have done better. I'm actually considering getting a backup pair and ordering online. You know how they have those online places where you can get glasses because um, the last video I saw of this tag, the person whose video I was watching, which I think I'll put a link to that video down in the description box as well because I really enjoy her channel. Um, she was talking about a website that she gets her glasses from and when I went to the website and saw how cheap the glasses were I thought you know what it would probably be worth it to try it so I think I'm go going to order a pair um, just so that I'll have a backup because God forbid something happen and I needed to um, you know if something happened to these, it would be nice to have a backup because I would have to go to the glasses that I had been wearing and the prescription changed just enough that when I got these, I actually felt like nauseous for two or three hours before I got used to my new prescription because there's a small adjustment period there. Um, I know it's the right prescription because I can see everything crystal clear. They're fantastic. But yeah, for like two or three hours, I was kind of nauseous. And then after that, it was fine. No problem. Uh, but I wouldn't want to go have, have to order another pair of glasses and then wait and wear the wrong prescription and then go through that all over again. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I just have the one pair in this prescription. Okay, then it says number seven, best mascara. Best mascara for glasses wearers? Um, I think the best mascara is the best mascara, period. Um, the ones that I am currently wearing are the new Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. That's what I have on today. Um, I also got the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara again recently. That was a repurchase. And um, there are a lot of good mascaras on the market now, but those are the two that I've been wearing. Number eight, false lashes, yes or no? I tried everything that a person can possibly try when it comes to false lashes, and I'm just not a false lash wearer, and I really, really tried. I realized after a while that I was getting migraines from the lash glue, and um, I could only wear a certain kind of, I could only use a certain kind of lash glue in the first place because I can't use any of the ones that have latex in them because I'm allergic to latex. So that eliminated most lash glues and then what was left ended up giving me migraines and it took me a long time to figure that out. So then I switched to the new magnetic lashes that they have where you put a magnetic eyeliner on your eye and then you stick the lashes on that liner and there was one brand that I bought where they worked good but um, there was another brand I tried where the lashes didn't really stick to the uh, eyeliner I don't know I just I would rather just use mascara and not bother. I know false lashes look really nice in photographs and in videos. Well, they look good, period. They really enhance your makeup look, but it's just too much trouble for me to try to get them on just right and have them even and not crooked and not falling off or... Ugh, I just... I can't be bothered. Number nine. 
best base product for minimal transfer that you've experienced? Um, what are we talking about here? Are we talking about mascara? I'm not sure about that question. I'm not really sure what they mean by that. I'm not sure if they're talking about mascara or if they're talking about lash application in conjunction with the mascara. So uh, let's, let's just skip over that one because I think I've already exhausted what I have to say about mascara and false lashes anyway. What is one misconception people have about wearing glasses and makeup? I feel like one of the biggest misconceptions is that you have to do your makeup different just because you have glasses on. I feel like you can do your makeup anywhere you, any way you want, and just because you happen to wear glasses, that has no bearing on it. Of course, this is just my opinion, but that's how I feel about that. Number 11, tricks for making your makeup more visible behind frames. Uh, that I feel like is pretty... Um, obvious if you want if you feel as if your makeup your eye makeup doesn't show up that well because you have glasses on just go a little more heavy-handed maybe alter the color a little bit choose a, a slightly brighter or darker color or just apply more it's uh, as simple as that but I don't usually alter the way I do my makeup or I, I do the, my makeup the way I want to do it and then just put the glasses on and it doesn't really matter because I don't have them on when I'm doing my videos anyway. So that's it you guys. Um, I'm curious as to how any of you feel about any of these questions. Do you have any thoughts on any of this? Do you agree or disagree with anything that I said? Let me know in the comment section. I'm, I'm kind of curious, like, how many of you wear glasses. I'm thinking you probably do, or you wouldn't have watched this video in the first place. But I'm going to leave a link to Abby and um, Lacey and Betty Jean's videos in the, the description box so that you can check them out, because I watch all three of their channels. I'm, subscri I'm a subscriber. So that is it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.